What is up guys, my name is Wumbo, and today I want to share something I read about the other day that, I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty soon, any PC gamer will have the technology to crack any password with relative ease. Before I get into the astonishing numbers, I want to point out how lacking CPU performance upgrades have been recently. Five-year-old computers are just as fast as modern computers in terms of their CPUs, the difference being thickness, noise, battery life, and heat. The reality is that CPU development has been slow. On the other hand, gamers have demanded graphics cards that are leaps and bounds better each year. The competition between Nvidia and AMD has been healthy and has accelerated the development of graphics cards. So, essentially, graphics cards are destroying processors in terms of how quickly they are getting better. Yeah, having a ridiculously fast GPUs is awesome, but I want to get into the crazy part. So, NVIDIA released their GTX 1080 at the beginning of the summer, in case you didn't know, and Elcomsoft Distributed Password Recovery 3.20 added support for the new architecture. GPUs like the GTX 1080 are 100 to 200 times faster than modern CPUs although they can't do much in terms of regular computing. The several hundred individual GPU cores are built specifically for one code, different data scenarios. I'll skip the super technical explanation, but essentially a large array of GPU units work really well for cracking encryption keys or passwords. A single GTX 1080 can crack passwords up to 250 times faster than a CPU alone. A common six character password, lowercase letters with numbers, has just about two billion combinations. If that password protects a Microsoft Office 2013 document, you'll spend 2.2 years trying all possible combinations with just a CPU. Using the same computer, add a single GTX 1080, and the same password will be cracked in under 83 hours. That's 3.5 days versus 2.2 years. If you really want someone's password, a couple days isn't much to sacrifice, especially compared to 2 or more years. You are just simply not going to get the kind of performance you need to crack a password with a CPU. And uh, while the password thing is pretty cool, and it's a cool way to comprehend how fast GPUs are, I really want to use it as a way to demonstrate how lacking CPUs are right now. If the average computer user necessitated technological upgrades at the rate that gamers request faster GPUs, CPUs could be significantly faster today. Part of the reason we don't see crazy CPU upgrades every year is the simple fact that they aren't really necessary. Graphics cards need to be upgraded frequently because games are constantly becoming more graphically demanding, but the same cannot be said with normal Windows programs from a processing perspective. The processing power you needed to run Microsoft Word five years ago is pretty much the same as the processing power you need to run Microsoft Word today. While it would be awesome to see technology develop faster, we really don't have complex enough programs to necessitate better CPUs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. My name is Wumbo. I'll see you next time.